let's see now the next topic that is server roles in Sitecore. So from Sitecore 9 onwards, uh, Sitecore introduced server roles in configuration. So basically, uh, when we, we used to do it in 8 uh, onwards, that uh, the uh, server, we, we used to have a uh, different servers, okay, and we define, we used to uh, name the, those servers, but from Sitecore 9 onwards, you can configure those, you can, you can define that configuration itself in the, uh, in the uh, Sitecore okay so there are different uh, different server roles by default server uh, server role site core as defined one is a content management that enables the content editors to create and publish content to a website so it is a content management server where you can user can create and publish the content content delivery it is a it is used to uh, makes your web content available to your website contact so it is basically the external website uh, okay then you have processing it extract the information from captured raw analytics data and transform into the form sub suitable for user reporting application okay so web processing servers are basically uh, basically used where we have aggregation service which aggregate the site for analytics data and then push it into the reporting uh, database server so all those act activities done by the processing reporting uh, uh, server role is pages the reporting data from various data sources such as a collection and reporting databases and use the site for reporting application so it is used for the reporting and then standalone it is used for the de development purpose so, okay a single site for instance performing all the servers role and this is the uh, default role so these are the default uh, uh, server roles which site has uh, defined and in fact you can have a you can name that those in your your instance itself. 